folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Pioneer 300 QB. This is a great family model with four bunks in the back. Let's start off right here on the kitchen. So you'll see you have a little bit of countertop space right over here, decent amount back here as well, and they managed to give you a double bowl stainless steel sink with nice deep bowls in here as well as a three burner recessed cooktop with your glass cover. That way you can utilize this as prep space. On the burners, your front one here is high output and right underneath you also have an oven in case you wanna do some baking. Over to this side here, we'll take a look underneath the sink. You see you have a little area right there. It's perfect for a small trash can. And then right here, you have three full extension large ball bearing drawers. So this is great. You have plenty of space there for your silverware and some of your larger utensils like spatulas, serving spoons, things like that. You have a window right here so you have some natural light coming in during the day. Also gives you a nice view out to the campsite. LED light or LED light up top here to make it nice and bright and then an electrical outlet right next to that So uh, I like the placement here because you know again This is probably where you put your coffee maker blender toaster. You can plug it in right there when you need it Right up top you will see you have some good pantry space right there. So nice area to put uh, you know some extra uh, chips or pop tarts or whatever you want to bring with you little storage right up top right above the microwave of course the microwave itself and then you have a hood underneath with a light and a fan moving over a little further you see again you have a nice little cubby hole right up top there underneath that is your Dometic fridge freezer combo six cubic foot so plenty of space in there both of the drawers are uh, down there you know nice little crisper drawers this one also does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switch over right back here is the bathroom You'll see right down there is your foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of leg room for you. Uh, good storage in the uh, sink top and vanity right next to that. You can see the, the cubby hole there as well as storage underneath. Good countertop space there too. So plenty of room if you need a place to put your toothbrush or you know a place to put your hair dryer down or curling iron down, you can do that. Decent sized sink, electrical outlet right there as well. Directly up above that is your mirrored medicine cabinet with storage behind it. Then over to the left here is the uh, tub shower unit. You'll notice you have some shelves in there as well, a hand wand, and then your curtain actually has a nice curvature to it, so that way it gives you a little more room when you're taking a shower. Up on the ceiling, you see right there you have an LED light as well as your vent fan to quickly help moisture escape. And then right there on the wall is your towel ring, so that way you have a spot to dry your hands uh, after you're done using the sink. Come on back with me here. Right before we enter the bunk room, you will see this right here. So this is really cool because it's good extra storage, quite versatile. You see these shelves here are removable. So what you can do is you can take the shelves out, get like a small tension rod, put it across here, and that will allow you to hang up some clothes. Or again, just take the, uh, the shelves out if you just need more storage space in between the shelves there. And then you have the cubby hole right here up top. Here in the back is the bunkhouse. And as I previously mentioned, this is a quad bunk unit, folks. So if you're looking to sleep a lot of people or you have a big family, this is a great option as far as floor plans are concerned. If you take a look right up top, this is our top bunk, 200 pound weight capacity on here. Now currently it is in the upright position, locked in place, which gives you more room to sit right here around the dinette. Uh, this is also nice. I personally like having a dinette in the back. You know, it's, it's easy enough to make that into a bed. You have foldable legs here, you fold them up, drop the table down, take the cushions, put it on top, and that gets you your bed. But having this extra seating space is great. It gives the, you know, the kids a spot they can sit down here, play a game together. You know, you have an actual pocket door on here you can slide shut. So if they need, you know, a little extra privacy, kind of have some separation, uh, you know, maybe separate the kids out too, you can certainly do that. You see they have a window right there to let in some natural light. And again, folks, this bunk, as I mentioned, just drops right down there. Teddy Bear Bunk Series, so that is also nice and soft. Uh, if we take a look across the way, you'll see right over here, you have your largest of the bunks uh, on this side. So nice wide bunks, 300 pound weight capacity. So if you have uh, kids a little bit older, maybe a little bit bigger, you know, they'll probably want this side here. Same thing on the bottom, nice big bunk right down there. You also see you have the window. 
you take a look at the very back, you'll see you have TV connections here. So if you want TV, you're able to hook it up. Notice they did put a hole here too. So that way if you have auxiliary equipment, like maybe you're bringing a gaming system, an Xbox, PlayStation, something like that, you can hook that up right down here and run it into the TV. And then right underneath, you have additional storage. All right, now that we're back out in the main living space, take a look at this super slide. One of my favorite things about the floor plan is this huge U-Dinette. A lot of times when you get a U-shaped dinette in a camper, it's a lot smaller than this. And even though it looks really big, most of the time you can't get you know, more than three people around one. So having a big, large U-dinette like this really allows a lot of people to sit down around it. You have a huge table here as well. So that way you have enough room for everyone's plate to fit on there. You know, if you want to play family games, you can do that. And if you have additional adult guests that want to stay the night, you can drop this table down, fill it in with the back cushions, and this makes a bed that is easily large enough for two adults to sleep at. You also have an LED light fixture up top. A lot of manufacturers out there, uh, right here above the table, will use a, a standard incandescent or halogen light because it's generally a little bit softer, but you know, LED lights have come uh, of far enough ways now that they can make a nice soft light here. And again, this uses a fraction of the power, folks, one-tenth of the power of your standard bulb. You take a look all around, you see the windows here letting in some natural light, which is great. Uh, speaking of light, take a look at this up top. This is something else that's really cool that I like in here. They have some cool accent lighting in here. You have it above the slide right here, some nice up lighting. If you take a look at the entertainment center real quick, we'll go over that in further detail, but right down below you see the lighting. You have some uh, up top there too, kind of lights up that top compartment, which is pretty darn neat. You'll also see in this slide, right up at the top of the slide here, you have some additional storage. You can see that there. And then right underneath, you have your jackknife style sofa. The thing I love about jackknife sofas is this right here, which is all the storage you get underneath. Now, granted, this doesn't make quite as big of a bed as, for instance, your trifold, but it definitely makes up for it in the storage uh, area because you can fit all your extra bedding and everything else right in there. So we showed you that entertainment center. Let's take a quick look. I uh, will start up top. They have this nice decorative glass on here and having that backlighting makes it look really cool. But if you open it up, you can see the lighting right in there, which is neat. Nice big area here for our TV. Connections are right over to the side. Uh, you have your radio right down below. So if you wanna listen to some music, you can certainly jam out to that. And then right under here, you see you have some additional storage. So we take a look at the bedroom. You'll see once again, just like the bunk room, you have nice slider doors here, which again gives you that added feeling of having privacy. On both sides, you have windows to let in a nice natural airflow here, some good cross ventilation. And then right in the center is your queen bed. Both sides, you also have a nice nightstand there with a couple different uh, outlets. You'll have one on either side. You also see a control there for your lights, so it is nice and easy to turn your lights on and off. Right up above that, you have mirrored wardrobes on both sides, so a good place to hang your clothes. And then going across the top, you have some additional storage right here. Also, you do have an LED reading light underneath, as well as an LED light here up on the ceiling to help brighten it up. You'll also see you have an AC duct in here. Though. The entire camper uh, has uh, is AC ducted as well as ducted heat. So no matter where you are, you'll make sure that you can control the temperature in the RV. All right, now that we took a look at the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Pioneer QB300. Starting off right up front here, folks, this is one of my favorite features on an RV. It's when you have a power tongue jack. One of the parts I hate worse is hooking up and disconnecting. It's just a lot of work in general, so this takes all the hard work out of it. You no longer have to crank it up and down. Simply flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue jack. You'll also see you have a light there underneath in case you are hooking up or disconnecting at night. Directly behind that, you have your two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Super simple to get in there. Just undo these two thumb screws, lift up the door, and you have access in. Behind that, you see the rails here for your battery. Notice that it is wide enough. If you want to put two batteries here, you can do that too. And then up top, you have a black diamond plating. This helps protect your front end from some of the rocks and debris that will get thrown up by your tow vehicle. If we take a quick look at the pass-through, this one does have a covered hinge on there, which is nice, but big pass-through, everything is nice and clean in here. You can see it's all finished off, which is great, and then your controls for your power jacks are in there as well. 
That's right, you heard me correctly. Take a look right down underneath and you will see you have power stabilizer jacks here. So just like the power tongue jack, all you have to do is touch a button to raise and lower these jacks. And I'm telling you folks, when you're getting out there, you're getting camping, you know, or you're starting to go camping, this, there's nothing easier than this. You want to enjoy time with your family, having those power options will certainly allow you to do that. Speaking of, right here, power awning as well. So instead of having to have two people to pull the awning out, you simply touch a button to roll the awning out. Same thing to have it come right back in. Super easy adjustable pitch. If you want to lower the entire awning, you can lower it on both sides. If you just want to lower one side so you have water run off one way or the other, you can do that as well. The cool thing about this is even if it's like this and you roll it in, it's not going to damage anything. It'll correct itself when it rolls in, which is, again, a nice feature. Uh, if we take a look at the power awning itself, one of the things you'll notice is right here in the barrel, you have an LED light strip. The cool thing about that strip is that actually can change color. So, you know, if you're uh, feeling like you want a different color out here, you can do the white light, you can do red light, green light, whatever you want. It has a remote inside. Just a, again, just a nice, fun, extra feature that they threw on here for you. Another cool thing about the lighting, take a look underneath. You have the, the red LED lighting all the way underneath. Now, this is nice for a couple reasons. One, it looks really cool at night at the campsite. The other thing I like, though, is the fact it lights up your steps. So that way, if you are entering or exiting at night, you can see the steps to make sure you're not going to fall and hurt yourself. You'll see they also gave you three steps here. So that way, you know, the first step is nice and low. You have good control, especially with the foldable grab handle here. You know, again, you want to make sure that uh, you're not hurting yourself when entering your RV. You'll see over to the side, or, or rather underneath that power awning, you have two outside speakers. That's what those red lights are. That's kind of cool, right? They, they lit up the speakers as well. Those are controlled by that unit inside, but that unit is Bluetooth capable. So that way you can sit out here underneath your awning and be able to control your music. You have your tank fill right here. That's going to be your, uh, your water inlet to fill your tanks. Cable right over here. This is an outlet as well as your electrical outlet right next to it. So if you want to hook up TV, this is where it'll be done at. Nice and simple. Hook it up right there. Again, you're underneath the power awning. Making our way back a little bit further here. If you take a look at the wheels, we pop these, uh, these little hubcaps off here. You have easy lube axles on there. That's really nice for the maintenance side of things. All you have to do is pop this little plug out and then you is a greaser in there so that way you can pump the grease in there rather than having to constantly repack your bearings. Uh, now granted, there is still some specific steps you want to make sure you do with that, uh, but it is a lot easier and it'll save you some money. Let's come around to the back side real quick. There's definitely some features on the back here I really like as well. One of them is this right here. You have a cargo rack on the back. This is awesome, folks. If you want to you know, do some travel and you, you just need a little bit of extra room, maybe you want to put you know, uh, some firewood back here. Maybe you have a tote you want to put back here, a, a big cooler, right? You can drop this down, put stuff down there, strap it down, and you have this awesome extra cargo rack. You'll also notice your spare tire is mounted here as well. Neat thing about this is this makes your spare tire really easy to get to. Hopefully, though, you never have to use it. If you take a look right up top and center, you'll see this one also is prepped for a backup camera. This is a pretty big RV, folks. You know, if you want that extra visibility, having a backup camera is not a bad idea. And because it is prepped, it is a lot less expensive to have that installed. We come around to the off-door side, a couple of quick features over here as well. You'll see right over here is your outside shower with both hot and cold. You also see your city water inlet is right here. And right next to that is your black tank flush to help wash out your black tank. That way you don't have to drag a, a hose all the way inside and put it down your toilet. And then right here is your 30 amp power cord. All right, folks, that wraps it up for the 2018 Pioneer QB300. If you're interested in this RV and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.